So here we're just going to focus on GPS satellite accuracy and I have uh, three devices that we'll use today. Uh, we got an iPhone 3GS, we're going to use uh, the geocaching.com application to uh, help us along. Uh, then we also have our Garmin Legend C which is uh, uh, a unit that's a few years old and we also have a Garmin 4Runner uh, 405. So we're in the park here and uh, we're going to use the uh, iPhone to look up a uh, geocache that uh, we haven't found yet and uh, we're going to simply going to enter the coordinates into our two Garmin units and we're going to get going. We're going to uh, just quickly go over why uh, satellite accuracy is important. It's mainly because this pretty much is the only way you can uh, navigate from point A to point B and try to get as close to point B as possible. Regardless of the extra toys you have on your GPS, electronic compass, altimeter, and all that stuff, uh, you're still going to rely or need to rely on the constellation of satellites to uh, give you an accurate uh, position or triangulate your position accurately. We have a constellation of satellites that are orbiting and uh, we know exactly which satellites they are. They all have a 90 number. All GPS's are doing are receiving a signal from these uh, satellites and we need a number of satellites to triangulate our position. So here for example we can see that we're starting to receive uh, satellite 3 and satellite 7 and you can see here on the map which one they are. Now what do uh, these satellites mean if you're closer in the circle or not? Well the satellites that are closer in the circle means that uh, they're basically directly above us in the sky. Uh, the satellites that are on the outer circle uh, are the satellites that are more on the horizon. Because this device doesn't have an electronic compass, we need to start walking in order for the direction arrow to tell us which direction our point B is, and in this case, our geocache. So we're just going to keep on walking until we get a little bit closer. Alright, so we're here at the geocache and it's just a, a few feet above my head. But I just wanted to show you now that I got all three GPS's, show you the difference in the accuracy here. So, using the iPhone 3GS, using the geocaching.com app, it says we're about five meters from uh, the geocache. And if we were to look at our Garmin C, it says that we're 12 meters from the geocache, but the accuracy is 13 meters. Uh, if you take a look at the iPhone, it was uh, about 20 meters. And using our Garmin 4Runner, it says we're 3 meters, 2 meters, you know, 1 meter. Uh, Alright, so what does that mean? Well, it means that in our scenario here, the 4Runner was way more accurate. It got us closer to the pin, so to speak, or point B, than the other devices. factor that affects how close you can navigate to point B is the person taking the original coordinates. It depends on their device, their situation, if they're under tree cover, anything that might restrict the GPS signals, that will affect the accuracy too. So when you're going out looking for, in this instance, a geocache, if the person didn't take or didn't try to get good coordinates or try to get the best signal as possible, you might be further off also more than what you should normally be. Alright, so I just wanted to show you the difference between being in a wooded area for satellite accuracy and an open area. So you can see we're in a, an open field part of the park and if I were just to take a look at our Garmin and we can look at our, our accuracy we're down to six meter accuracy and we got six satellites right now give or take now if we take a look at our forerunner 405 which gave us the better accuracy we can see that it has four five six seven eight nine satellites with seven meter accuracy 
All right, so the final demonstration is now that this has been sitting, both GPS has been sitting on the bench for uh, a couple minutes. We're just gonna mark our waypoint. So we're just gonna hold down our legend and mark it. All right, so we're gonna save location. And there we go. So we're gonna hit enter to edit so that we can actually see our position. This gets more difficult. So we see 4455227 and Look here, 4455279. So we're off by a couple of digits. And the second set of coordinates is 34937. 34937.